Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Hindi, the Android Authority App Guy, and we're nearing the end of September. That means it's time to round up the best Android apps that were released this last month. As usual, if you want to check out any of these apps for yourself, you can find those links in the video description below. Desk Dock is a unique Android application that allows you to share your mouse from your computer. Once you've connected your device using the app, you'll be able to move your mouse from your monitor straight on over to your Android screen. You can think of it like making your Android device into another display. Along with mouse functions, you'll be able to copy and text paste from your two devices and a whole lot more. Those of you who go pro will also be able to share your keyboard. It should be compatible with Windows, Mac, and Linux. Fox Sports VR is a fun little application that lets you watch sports in VR. It puts you in a large VIP style suite like you would get if you were an executive at a football game. You'll be able to watch live games on TV inside of the setup. It works surprisingly well and you'll also have the ability to watch the game from various angles and views. The app is totally free but you will need a cable provider login in order to watch any of the games. Google Allo was released in September to heavily mixed reviews. On the one hand, Google Assistant is totally awesome and is capable of doing all kinds of fun things which you can utilize in any non-incognito mode chat. On the other hand, the application doesn't offer a whole lot of functionality just yet, and some are concerned with Google logging conversations in non-incognito mode chats. It is worth noting that it's an early release and more features are definitely coming. For now, though, it's a solid but fairly basic messaging service. It's free to use if you want to check it out for yourself. Google Trips is a travel application that can help you plan an entire trip from beginning to end. You'll have the ability to include things like your itinerary directly from Gmail, along with any restaurant reservations and other plans that you may have. Those of you who are traveling somewhere and don't know what to do can access a list of popular landmarks and tourist attractions that you can check out. It also features an offline mode so you can check your plans even if you're somewhere without a web connection. It's also completely free. Moviz is a navbar customization app that puts music visualization right there on the navbar. The way it works is that you go in and turn it on and then you put on some music. From there you'll be able to see this visualization no matter what else you're doing. Moviz also allows you to customize the visualizer by changing its shape and color. There is even an option to have it work on applications that may not use the navbar properly like Google Chrome and Spotify. It's free to check out with the pro version going for $1.99. Navbar Apps is another nav customization tool that allows you to customize your navigation bar. It comes with a variety of options including images, solid colors, and you can even turn your navbar into a battery gauge to see how much longer you have left. Perhaps the best part is that the application doesn't require root access at all, but you do need a fairly recent version of Android in order to use it. You can get most of the features for free or fork out the 99 cents for the pro version. Nick Jr. released their official application this month and their programming is still about as good as it gets for kids. The app contains tons of clips, shows, games, and various other content from the network. However, in order to get most of it, you will be required to log in with your cable provider. It is suffering from some early release bugs which should be kept in mind, but it'll no doubt be a solid application after a few more updates. Paper Planes is a proof of concept application where you build paper airplanes and then throw them into the internet. The idea is that you put your location stamp on an airplane and then throw it. Someone else then finds it, puts their stamp on it, and then sends it out again. You can also catch planes thrown by other people and the location stamps show you where all those planes have been. It's not useful for anything in particular, but it's a fun little experience and interesting to see where the planes you catch come from. Swipe Widget for Facebook is from the same developer who did Swipe for Facebook, which is one of the better third-party Facebook apps out there. This is simply a collection of Facebook widgets that allows you to check out various things on Facebook. There are options for notifications, messages, and others. To top it off, you can even customize the widget to work better with your home screens. Most of the features are free with the pro version coming in the form of in-app purchases, but you do get to decide how much you spend. The lowest available is $1.50. Taskbar is one of the more interesting Android apps released in September. It's a launcher that gives you a taskbar similar to what you would see on Windows or even Mac OS. You can launch applications from there quickly and easily. If you're running Android Nougat, the application can even open apps into Windows. This isn't great for phones, but it could be a lot of fun if you use it on a tablet. It's surprisingly fun to use and it's completely free. You can pay $1.99 if you'd like to as a donation. And that about does it for this one, folks. If you want to keep watching, we have the latest Android apps weekly linked up there on the screen and in the video description below. If you want to download any of these apps for yourself, you can also find those links in the video description below. Finally, don't forget to subscribe to Android Authority because we are your source for all things Android. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a wonderful day.